Hey ladies and gents, we are back with the S199, the new tier 6 multi-roll, the uh, Avia, Avia, S199 Sakin. What was this plane? Well, uh, after 1945, the defeat of Germany, there was lots of spare parts laying around. Specifically, BF109G um, planes, parts of planes, maybe that's the word, uh, airframes, right? So, uh, the Czechoslovakian company gathered up these parts and started producing um, a BF-109, a version of the BF-109 um, in 1947. I think the maiden flight was in March 1947. What this was, and you'll notice somewhat of a difference between the BF-109, this, uh, of course, and the G model, uh, being an uh, obvious big reason is the propeller and the uh, way the engine is. <laughs> the look of it, I should say. Uh, specifically, this they do not have a supply of DB605 engines, so the Czechoslovakian uh, company used Jumo engines, specific, specifically the same engine that was used on the HE111 um, medium light bomber, I guess you want to call it, and its propeller. That's why you see these huge blades on the front. This was a bomber propeller uh, and the engine. However, the engine, uh, being the way it was built, uh, did not give the same performance as a DB605, and of course the torque produced by these massive paddles, uh, this was not well liked by pilots. This plane was not well liked at all. Um, using the Jumo also eliminated the ability to mount a 30mm uh, that you see on the BF-109G, BF the hub-mounted one. Um, did not have the room here with the Jumo. So what they did was on gun pods mount two 20 millimeters on the outside um, and the two 13 millimeters here uh, in the cowling. Uh, they had a little problem with that as well. The synchronization was off and they had a tendency, the few of these with their propellers shot off. Um, yeah, so a little bit of trouble. So this was not a user-friendly aircraft. Add the fact that you had a, um, uh, with, the, with the gun pods on the outside edge, uh, aerodynamic problems, the engine wasn't as good as the DB605, of course propeller was different. This thing just did not perform as well. Um, landing, um, performance, everything was off. Um, but they produced I think, something like a little bit over 500 of these aircraft. Uh, Czechoslovakia used them until all the way up to 1957, I believe. So, that's where we get the S199 Sakin. Um, more specifically that this was the first aircraft uh, bought by the Israeli Air Force. May of 1948, they gained their independence. I do believe it was only a day afterwards Egypt declared war and tried to invade. Um, so there was an arms embargo on Israel at the time, and they were still able to procure 25 of these aircraft for 190000 apiece. They only took delivery of 23. However, within, I believe, six days uh, of the war, start of the war, something like that, uh, they were up and running. They had put these things together, and they were in the fight. Uh, their very first aircraft they shot down uh, was a C-47 that was being used to bomb Tel Aviv. Um, they had some <laughs> problems with keeping it up and flying, maintenance-wise, uh, and I believe by October they only had six of these planes left, and they were just kind of phased out by December they were still flying a few sorties with them uh, but nothing um, yeah they were they were pretty much done and that was all the uh, planes they bought S199s so that's the history of this plane in game of course um, the armament is a uh, uh, we're just gonna compare it to the to the F to kind of give you an idea this armament of course is better and of course it has bombs and rockets um, and uh, a little bit better survivability and uh, it's got a, it's just a little bit slower than the BF109F uh, with the configure, uh, the configure configuration that I have here. Um, maneuverability, of course, altitude performance, the 109 just completely rules. Um, so yeah, there, that's the difference between the Tier 6 109 and the S199, um, if you're interested in that stuff, I guess. Um, the 90 seconds on the 70 kilos, kilos, which 70 kilos aren't, doesn't sound like a big deal, but then, you know, at the Falkwolf 190D, or the Falkwolf A5, uh, has 50 kilo bombs, uh, and four of them, uh, but also has two rockets. So this is a little bit better, at least with that, and of course with the guns on this one, yeah, quite a bit better too. But, 
Um, for the most part, uh, it's not a bad plane. Um, I run, I, I mean, it's nothing ridiculous. See? It's not overpowered or anything like that, but it um, does what it was. And if, you, if you're interested in a premium um, tier six plane for the German, uh, you know, obviously you can use them for any of the countries now. I'm using this one as a German for a, uh, if you're looking for a tier six multi-role, uh, you know, it's not, it's not overpowered. Uh, but it does it, it will do the job here. I'm flying with the uh, uh, 190 a8 pilot here trying to uh, Trying to train up a pilot for him um, What do we have here? We have the stock colonnator site or collimator uh, Site I'm for some reason and I got an engine boost on here And I think I got the long gun barrels on it as well uh, along as with a uh, first aid dressing um, pneumatic control and uh, engine cooling. Um, yeah, does not have the altitude performance, uh, of course, of the BF 109s, but it does. It can get up there. Um, but this is, of course, a multi-role. So you you got to keep thinking multi-role. Take objectives, pick on um, defense planes, pick on GAs, those kind of things. Do not get in a fight with a light fighter for the most part, unless you have a full boost and a f um, a full boost and the boost consumable. Um, you know, you're going to get Trump, you're going to get whooped by a Spitfire Zero, any of those kind of planes. However, with those kinds, you can boost away from a Spitfire to get enough altitude and, of course, flip over and take them out and that kind of stuff. But if you're not carrying that, if you're not on, on the ball, paying attention, just don't get into fight with the light fighters. You're just not, you're just not capable. Or actually even getting into a turn fight with another multi-roll, for the most part, this doesn't quite turn. Um, yeah. So it, it's one of those deals, you know, to play like a typical multi-role, take your objectives, you know, beat up on bots, that kind of stuff, ambush when you can get a chance against lighter fight, light fighters. You do have enough altitude performance to take on bot bombers, that kind of stuff. Um, if there's a human bomber, he's just going to fly too high. You're never going to be able to reach him. Same way with uh, heavy planes, heavy fighters. Uh, a human fighter and a heavy fighter will always win. There's just, you know, unless he plays, unless he gets low and slow. Uh, for the most part, this plane just, just doesn't have the altitude performance. So yeah, just like a typical multi-role, uh, <coughs> play the objectives, you know, don't get into any kind of turn fights, uh, ambush when you get a chance, that kind of stuff. So with that said, we'll bring up some uh, plane, uh, some uh, video for you guys. Hey ladies and gents, we are back with the first game in the S199. Uh, so before I left on my vacation, I had thrown up just a little bit of a video on it, and um, yeah. Uh, with the 220s and the 213s, you know, obviously with the two different size calibers, it's always not always the easiest sometimes. You gotta make sure you watch the 20s. They have a little bit longer range. 13s are always nice to continue, continue pepper them. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's a multi roll So I'm running over here to the first objective here, and we're gonna wait a little bit here until uh, we get some more planes in there. Uh, we picked up the uh, bow fighter here. Uh, we're gonna start boosting him for him right off the bat. Uh, once again, it's not a BF-109 type um, BF-109 type altitude performance. However, it does get up high enough to deal with these heavy fighters. So, round we come. Looking for our next victim target, maybe, possibly. Uh, which is, of course, looks to be a boomerang. See so if we can finish him off here, pick him up. And we've got this turned halfway off the bat. And we're not going to dig a douche around up there. Because i got something on my tail here. We're going to drop two... Uh, 70 kilo bombs and we're gonna pick up another one over here on this one a couple more right through there and uh, We're just gonna keep on rolling here uh, picked up group ground targets destroyed and about that time of course here comes some um, Red baddies and they've already killed one plane. So they've turned it back. Maybe a little bit We need to get this killed here. Ooh, I can't quite finish it uh, Don't get all of him finish him off. We get the grade 5 multi-roll and we've turned the objective here. So we got 2-2 two, two right now. And we got some baddies here to deal with. Um, just a bot here. I have help, so I'm not terribly worried about getting into a turn fight. Uh, because I do, like I said, I do have help to help me out here. Pick up the KI-88. Let's see here. Boom. Finish him off. 2-2 um, two, two right now here. So I'm headed to the center objective here. Bombs will be up in 44 seconds. Not too shabby. Um, yeah, you know, it's a little bit long. Uh, 90 second reload. Uh, at least when you compare it to say like the British, right? Um, 
but it, yeah, it's doable. I, I'm not going to complain. I had a good time on the plane. Um, it's kind of a different role playing with the BF-109 uh, relatively with the low to mid altitudes and not the usual high altitudes. So we're going to drop in here. I want to pick that uh, um, defense fighter up here before they kill him. Oh, I can't quite do it here. However, I do have the HS-129B here. Let's see if we can nail him. Unfortunately, this is not locked yet, but I want to nail him before he gets away because, you know, uh, leaving GAs running off by themselves is never a good thing. Turn around. Um, you know, with the multi-rolls and the, and the gun armaments of these planes, um, you usually do a pretty short work of GAs. Up and over we go. That's time I pick up. Ooh, doggy. Here comes a heavy fighter. However, now we have this, they have this locked. He pulls down and low to my left, uh, which lets me get on his tail here. And we're going to finish him off quickly. And we've turned the objective relatively quick. However, I am being pummeled by something behind me here. So we're going to play a little peekaboo. Um, I have no engine. Of course, I have no engine. And he's just going to follow me around here. So I got... Yeah, what are you up to, buddy, here? He's, he's going up and around, up and over, up and over, and up and over. And I'm just trying, because like I said, I don't have the uh, ability to turn with any of these light fighters. So we're going to turn back on him. He's went off the opposite direction, and it's a Yak-9. And Fado, Fada, whatever, Fado, we'll call him Fado for now. We'll remember that guy, because he's apparently had a hard-on for me most of the game. So picked up the second objective here we're gonna roll uh, to the third one which uh, what you see me here doing here is I'm counting planes right there's three blues over here there's only one blue down there there's a pretty good chance if I do get over there eventually um, that blue is gonna be dead and then it's gonna be me versus everybody so I'm gonna try to pick my numbers here which of course is the uh, in this situation there is more blue planes over here so I'm gonna try to boost up here and see if I can pick up uh, some of these uh, high flyers here. He is way up beyond what I can get to for right now here. So, however, here's my um, heavy fighters. And they are currently after that bomber, which I would really like to hold on to. So, let's pick up the bow fighter going through. There he is. Let's keep him off my bomber here. I don't want to lose my bomber because that just makes it harder. Never mind. Fuck PE2. What are you doing? There we go. Pick up the heavy fighter. We've turned it back here. We've got another uh, heavy fighter, bow fighters coming, and I'm getting fucking railed by something from behind. There he is! The Yak-9 had shot down earlier. Yeah, apparently he was still mad at me. So, as I fall out of the sky, burning in a pile of, you know, whatever, uh, not able to take that objective, I guess. Maybe that's a better word for it here. we got Michael Bryan Stokes in F4F. -F. He finishes off Elwin. And we're going to come back in here. we got three red baddies. Let's see if we can knock some of this stuff out here. Because I really don't want to lose this objective in too soon here. There's the Yak-9. And that's a Bronsilov. Oh. No. Shitty gun handling. <laughs> I was having a fuck of a time. I hadn't played in a while. Here we go. What do we got here? Oh, there we go. Picked up the Yak-7. And now i got an inbound um, MiG-3. Let's see if we can pick up the MiG-3 here. Get him off the tail here. There we go. Nail him. So everything's all safe and sound. We're up 4-1, which isn't too bad. And we're going to go back up here and see what we got here. Who's this guy? He is the... Oh, it's my buddy. All right. There we go. Let's see if we can get a, a little bit of a um, chance on him here. He's not pulling away too fast here. So let's see if we can start peppering him from the rear. There we go. Now we're starting to catch him here. Like I said, it's not that much slower than the BF-109 for the German uh, light fighter. So 47 versus 48. So it does have, you know, th not the greatest speed, uh, but it's certainly not the slowest machine by far. So pick up him. I've got the Avenger. Thank goodness. I need to make sure. And we pick up Casimir here in the PE-2. Let's see if we can pick up some bomber action here before. Oh, uh, there we go. Round we come. Start putting some uh, hurt into him. Wait till those 20s cool off a little bit here. And let's finish him off here before we got to get worried about the next one. 4-1. And we got the uh, 
squall line is up but I'm not too bad with the um, health wise so don't fly, don't give me advice fucking bots what don't fly in a straight line <laughs> no really so k88 he is pummeling the crap out of that plane and I don't really want to get into a fight um, turn fight at least at that plane right off the bat here so we're gonna wait till he turns a little way a little bit here and we'll see if we can pick up some damage here on him before he uh, decides to turn around. All right, consumable engaged. There we go. Pick him up, and we've nailed him. And Squall Line is, of course, up right now in this 3 2, pretty commanding lead. Yeah, it was just one of those deals here. So I'm going to drop down here. We got Bronislav, Bronislav, and they're almost ready to turn this objective here. It'd be nice to just finish this and be done with it here. So I got three red baddies here, a GA, four red baddies. And what do we got here? Uh, we'll put a little burst into him. And around. Nope, nope, nope. There we go. Can't quite get anything on him. I got the enemy on my tail, of course. Oh, pick up the MiG-3 here. Let's see. Finish, finish him off here quick. There we go. And I got the baddie on my tail in the rear. Come on. Up we go. I'd like to be bombing something right about now or possibly shooting that other plane down. But hey, you know what? I'm pretty popular with this guy. There's the Yak-9. Around we go. Yak nines were apparently my nemesis this game here. He's on fire and he's burning. There we go. Finish him off. And we got. Oh, there he is. My little buddy. He is flying away. Gives me his side. Let's see if we can put a big enough. There we go. Finish him off. And we've turned the objective. So, a 3 2. Game over with. Yeah. Fun one off. Dude, I didn't do it. I don't know why you're mad at me. And we got one more game. Wasn't great the highest score game, but it was pretty exciting. It was a kind of a back and forth game, and uh, we're gonna take a look at it here. Hey, ladies and gents, back with the second game here, and I am playing with uh, PD. He's flying the Falk Wolf 190A5, and we got two guys in A6M5. So this should be interesting, right? 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 So off to the races here, off to the command center right off the bat. Um, yeah, let's see if we can pick this up here. So I'm not going to post the real, this isn't a really great personal points game. This was more of me flying around a lot of times and trying to put fires out. Once again, it's always play the objectives here, right? Where I should be taking objectives, sometimes I end up going the opposite direction to try to save an objective, which doesn't lead to the highest personal points, but it was a win. That's all that mattered. And there was a lot of times during this game where it was like, oh, I don't think we're going to win this because it was relatively close. So, round we go. Looking here for our first aerial target, which is the P-40. Ah, uh, there we go. Come on. Oh, uh, he should be dead already. I'm just having one of those. And I'm getting... Ah! There we go. Pick up that guy. And we got a couple more baddies here. We need one more aerial kill to finish this guy. And around we go. Um, there's their defense fighter here. Pick up the objective. And we got the command center here. So we're going to go back to center here. PD's over here fighting a couple red baddies. Um, slowly but surely, there's a Hornet and another heavy fighter. And the Mosquito picks up the other Mosquito. Uh, we just have this um, Hornet left here to finish off as much as possible. He goes into the vertical. Blow his tail all this shit. Ah, uh, they picked up the air base finally. And I'm boosting to try to keep up with him. Try to get this last little kill here. Ah, uh, there we go. Finished him off, so now we'll go back to to the center here. Um, we got Bomber Flight up here. They have the center objective here, which of course we talked about in another video how important that is to have. So, uh, we're back off here after the uh, air base. I'm um, looking here. He, no, he is way beyond. Yeah, he's A26B. I'm thinking he's way beyond here. Let's see what we can try this here. Put the boost consumable on. Let's see if we can make this work. There's 2400 meters. And I'm just start peppering him. I might not get the kill here, but if I lose, if I there's 2600 into the red, kind of give you an idea what the altitude performance is like. However, even if I was not able to completely kill him, if I take enough HP off of him, the AA will have no problems finish him off, which they did right there. So, yeah, and we're going back to center here. And th this is one of those deals what I was talking about here. Personal point wise, it's not um, unless I'm taking objectives and all that kind of stuff, uh, but. Being able to, you know, occasionally have to defend things like this. Just got to do what you got to do here. Here comes the uh, mosquito, and I can't really leave him alone because he will, of course, zoom and boom me until I'm dead. 
He is, of course, out of reach here for my 13 millimeters, I believe, but not my 20s. Um, even then, at that range, it's still pretty hard. He's going to dive for the deck. Come on. PD gets killed by the Carl Kustaf in the P47B here. Yeah, let's not dick around with him. He's he's dived for the deck here. I have altitude now, so I'm not going to waste it uh, chasing him. And I'm going to look for my first uh, target here, which, of course, would be... Oh, did he come back up here? Nope. It's Martin in the Hornet. We'll just nail him and keep him off my bombers. Hopefully these guys will be able to drop. Uh, there is a lot of red baddies right in this area. Around we go. Okay, so the bombers are dropping on these guys. And that brings me here with the... Ah, uh, there we go. Pick up the Spitfire DB605. He is busy shooting at the GA. Alright, so this is kind of what I was talking about earlier with the... Um, we're going to get the, uh, what do you call it, uh, kind of a uh, ambush. And, of course, we'll see the speed here. We're going to boost. We got we dropped down, hit the boost consumable here, so they're gonna ha he's going to have to try to chase me. And I don't think he's got the speed to catch me. Nope, 660 kilometers an hour, and I've already got out ahead of him here. Enough to get in front of him. And, of course, they pick him up, um, not paying attention. So, those two guys, that guy... Thankfully, DB605 was not able to catch me. Um, pick up the uh, A6M5 and the other A6M5, which is Beast Leader 69. Let's see here. Finish him off. There we go. And that's what I was talking about earlier with this plane. And it's, um, you know, you can't turn with the shit in a multi-roll. So just picking up the ambush uh, with them guys not paying attention. Um, no turn fighting, of course. Just don't do it. All right. So we need one objective here to turn. We got a, there we go, come on, I need some aerial kills here to finish this off. There we go, the Mosquito picks up uh, the Spitfire 5 and we're able to flip this objective. Round we go, Disney didn't even need my help. However, I have lots of baddies inbound. I got red things everywhere. Uh, it's that prick in the IL-10. Just gonna give you a couple parting shots because you know, why not? Let's drop down here, see if we can pick up a little bit of love. Uh, it's not quite locked yet here in four or five seconds. However, I got a slew of red baddies uh, that are currently angled in my direction. I don't really want any of this to do anything with this. Yeah, I kind of figured that was happening. <laughs> ah, ah, the, you saw them coming and I was just like, yeah, suck it. there's no way I'm going to get out of this deal. So, we die. And it is a 3. There's a 3-2. However, they have the mining facility. And they are up on us by a pretty significant chunk. So here's Scoot41 and the Mosquito. He is looking for a target here. And we're back. We come in here. We're going to try to get to the center objective here. Back to the fight. And for some reason, I did not pick that center objective. I don't know what was up. Um, yeah. So I'm not going to worry about the center objective. It's still blue. There's a lot of blue players there here. However, I don't want to lose this objective. Um, we have uh, two planes, two red planes here, one blue plane. There's an IL-10. Ooh, air defense fighter picks up the Horton. A Hornet. Damn. We've lost the air base. Now it's a 3-2. I cannot afford to lose another. And if this IL-10 makes a pretty good pass, there's a possibility he's going to be able to kill um, something here. So I put a big burst into him. There we go. Finish him off. And we turn the air base back, or turn the command center back just a little bit. So, still in the game. 2-3. We're almost ready to lose the garrison. It is kind of a tight fight here. Bombers are up, headed for that garrison over there, which is just about ready to get turned. There's three blues there. However, <coughs> they have a commanding 423-658. All right, so we got to get we got to get our shit together, right, guys? So squall line is up. I'm full health, and we got two red heavy fighters, and we got the A26 flying straight up here. Not sure what he's up to. Um, but yeah, so now we flipped the other objective, objective here. We're back 3-2. And really nice to be picked up this center objective here. The, mil the mining facility is looking like it's hurting pretty hard. However, we do need kind of need this as well. We've picked up the mining facility. There we go. There was the key uh, in this kind of in this fight was uh, somebody picking that up here. So we're dropping down here. Drop my bombs, and I'm getting pummeled by something from behind, as I always do. 
Um, we need this objective here. We need one more aerial kill to finish this off here. There's the P-40. Come on, can I get reach out and touch somebody? Nope, he's just a little too far here. I got too many things shooting at me and I don't want to die right here. This would be a bad situation. So, however, in my spinning blue blue bloom around the corner, we do pick up the air base. We've lost the command center. <laughs> wow. Relatively tight game. Like I said, I, I seem like I did a lot of turning and burning here, um, going sector to sector. Uh, trying to either defend and that kind of stuff here. So we're going to head back to this uh, uh, command center here and see if we can pick it up here. Being that we are sitting 612, 740 uh, and 60 seconds to turn, um, not 55 seconds for the mining facility uh, to get us even relatively close here. So they're gaining plus three and it is um, relatively close for aircraft here. So, back to, back to this uh, objective here. Let's see if we can pick up something here quickly. I got a few blue players coming behind me. However, we need to get on the ball here. Let's see if we pick up the P-40. Put a burst into him. Um, and around we go. Score is 696, 760. There we go. Now we're up over 700. This is going to be super tight here. Let's see if we can finish that P-40 off quick. That's about the time PD shows up as well. Oh, there we go. Picked him up. 730, 769. And it's still, ooh, it's a three. Well, we got most of them knocked out here. Let's see if we can pick up some ground targets here too as well. And up and over we go. A um, couple more aerial targets to deal with here. And we pull out the bullshit win. Um, so, yeah. So, thank you for watching, guys, and have a good night.